So, work has really gained steam lately, or is it me? I don't know how to use that phrase. Anyway, I have sort of got over the first hurdle of the first half year of the work year. Um, and I sort of hit a wall today because I thought, I don't know what to do now. I mean, I have projects, but I don't have any next actions because I've sort of crossed off most of them. Some of them I have to wait to do. So I thought I'd just take you with me as I do a review, which I do very seldom. Bad DTD, or you're supposed to do your review uh, every week. I don't, but right now I need to do one because I need next actions. So this is, this is my planner to begin with. And this tab, this one, is for my work projects and my next sections are here. So these are tabs for different projects and I'm going to go through, maybe not all of them on camera, but some of them to just show you how I do it. So one page per project and I use a different color pen for all of them. And I'm gonna start with this. Uh, this project, which is every project is divided into sub projects and this one has to do with me uh, sort of researching stuff. But the first one here, I'm waiting for someone else to do stuff, so I can't really do anything about the sugar one. <laughs> this one, the second one, I I was working very hard on that one before summer, so maybe I should sort of reacquaint myself with that. And the best way of doing that is to listen to what I had written back then. So I'll write that on my listen tab. So I listen to a lot of documents. That's, I find it easier and you know, than to read and I can do other things at the same time, like take a walk or wash the dishes. Uh, the third one, I don't really know. I think I'm going to wait for the other person I'm doing this with to get in touch. It's not, there's no panic. No cow on the ice, as we say in Swedish, <laughs> which means that the ice melts and the cow uh, drowns, but there is no cow on the ice, so the, it won't drown. <laughs> Weird. Okay, uh, this one is kind of pressing, so I should do something about that. I have to write a plan for something. So I haven't added a right context yet. I've only, at the start of the year, there's lots of administration and I have to contact people about stuff. And so I haven't uh, you know, there's not much else to do, so these pages, these next action pages, are empty. Because I haven't needed those contexts yet, but I have read and I will write, write. <laughs> so, the plan, I would need to write the plan. And there is a deadline for that next week, is it? No, two weeks. So it's not it's not that pressing, but I wanna get going and it's something I like to do. So yeah, it goes there. And this one as well, that's also a writing one. I'm writing a book. Uh, where was it? And I'm really into that. So, and these are, I mean, this context isn't very good <laughs> because this will take a long time. It's like one action, write a book. Is that one action? <laughs> it sort of is because I have the plan. I The only thing I need to do is write. I, I've written half of it. And, you know, I don't really, well, I guess I have to check some things and look up information that goes into the book, but, most of it is just writing. So it's kind of a, an ongoing next action. 
So, now I'm thinking maybe I should have a, yeah, yeah. Actually, this post-it reminds me. I, because, ah, oh, okay, explanation. I have started this routine where I clean for five minutes. I set an alarm and only clean for five minutes per room. And it's really helping me do stuff. You know, the big, big things you don't want to do. If you set a timer for five minutes and you promise yourself that you will stop or that you can stop after those five minutes, uh, it's it makes it easier to start. And starting is often the hardest thing. So here I was thinking maybe do that for work as well. And I have tried it a couple of days. I've done this and it has the consequences mostly have been that I continue after the five minute mark because you know I get going and you know I can't stop now so I'm thinking I could do that with those big overwhelming things that t well, like projects that or, or sort of <laughs> rather actions next actions that that take several days or months to do I could have a um what's it called in English, like consist, no, not consistent, but something long-term, long-term, but five-minute increments. So it's, it's kind of a paradox because it's a big old thing that will take months to do, but I will do it in, in five minutes. <laughs> I will, like, yeah, so I'm going to write uh, the book here. Because that's something, I, I can open the document, set an alarm for five minutes and write for five minutes. And um, if I want to continue, I do so. If I don't, I change to some other task. But it's a way of, because if you if you have a context where you write, write, write the rest of your book, you're never going to do it because it's just too big. I don't have the time. But if I'm waiting for a meeting and I have 10 minutes to spare, I can open the book document and write for five minutes and you know steady does it so good I wouldn't have noticed this I think if I hadn't been on camera so um, I can remove the post-it and that's the tip of the day by the way I often have tips of the day and that's today's one so let's go back to the projects. Uh, this down here, I write someday maybe stuff. So I think I'm not going to do anything about those things. No. General, there's nothing here. I have some someday maybe stuff, but I don't. I don't feel like that either. It will stay on the someday someday maybe list. This one, I need to wait for other people to do stuff. This one is a big old bad conscience. There is, There are things I need to do. Um, so maybe I need to do a presentation. So the first step is to... Actually, that could also be a five-minute one. Create... PowerPoint for the presentation where I sort of uh, cut and paste things from other presentations because it's uh, it's kind of something I've done before but it needs to be adapted to a specific target audience so I think I'll start by just gathering the stuff I already have So that's a five minute thing. I don't need to do the whole PowerPoint uh, or make it rather, but I can make the document. And then I, you know, I, the ball is rolling. <laughs> um, what else? These are things that will be relevant later. That one I've already done. Prepared a website, 
Um, I also need to do, there's another presentation. I have two presentations or one of them is actually a workshop. So, um, yeah, so the next step, I have this, I had an idea last night. We were watching a TV program about Swedish heavy metal. So I had an idea for work, naturally. And I think I'm going to use that one. I'm going to put it, now I'm in love with this new five minute context. So I'm going to put uh, um, something about that idea to apply that idea in in the workshop PowerPoint. So just put that, you know, make one slide. That's, that's it. Anything else? Uh, well, I can't do that yet. Um, oh yes, this one. This is something I was going to use for the workshop. So maybe put that in in the PowerPoint as well on its own slide. So this is really just breaking down big projects into smaller steps, really small ones that I can do in five minutes and get going and um, uh, so I think that's enough for that project, actually. Uh, don't make too many next sections because it will feel overwhelming. You know, you get started and then you review again, or you're supposed to, even though I don't do it. Uh, so, next project, the green one. These are things I can't do yet, so I'll just wait. That's for later. This one, uh, t -t -t -t. let's see. No, there's nothing right now. I just wait for questions from people and the things I need to take care of are sort of, it's in October, I think. These, I've got going on these, but I'm waiting. These are sort of similar, these two projects, and they both hinge on people uh, contacting me with questions and they have done but I'm waiting for more so I don't have to do anything about that for now. This one will start on the 7th of October so oh and I should mention GTD involves having a waiting for um, context and I sometimes use it but not for this because I I just I don't need to write it down. I know what's happening in these projects. I've I've done these projects so or this kind of project so many times that I don't need to write down that I'm waiting for things to happen because I I know I know I don't have to think about it until it happens. But this one I should I've done that. Um, filled in a document. I'm sorry. I keep saying I've done this. I've done that. Um, and I don't tell you what, what it is I've done, but I've filled in this sort of matrix that's supposed to go on a website. So I've done that. Um, oh my, have I done this? I don't think so. So that's administration. Um, and it is a five minute thing. So even though it's an administrative task, I think I'm going to put it here because, uh, when I go to the five minute list, I want sh quick, short things to do. So it's better to put it there than on administration, which can be quite, you know, like hairy things, things that take a lot of time. Um, so this is just removing uh, like a post from a website. So that's really quick. 
um, and also to remove some instructions that are no longer necessary. So I'll put that there as well. And this is something it, it needs to be ready before October, but I can get started on it now because, yeah, I'll be thankful to myself if I've done this once October rolls around. What else? Well, there is a schedule, but I've done that. And, oh, I, mm, I'm thinking now. There are a couple of presentations that I have recorded for this project, but I might uh, redo them. So maybe, maybe I should watch my own presentation and see if it's still if it's still good enough, or maybe listen to it. I, I don't need to see the PowerPoints. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna put that on the listening context. Um, just to see, you know, because I need things to do while I clean, while I take a walk, and I like to have stuff on the listening context. So that's a way of sort of easing into that project to listen to what I did last year and and if I feel like, ugh, this is no longer relevant, or it's I sound like a dick, I can redo them. Okay, next one, the purple project. Um, I don't think, I mean, this is also one of those things where my part in the project um, is in November or December, I think, and it's August now, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't think I need to do anything about that. Just answer questions if people are confused. Two more projects to go. Um, this one is also a later one, November to December. But yeah, this is something that can, can take a little time. So I think I'll put it, I could put it on the five minute thing but mm, I don't know maybe both of them maybe both on administration and five minute thing yeah uh, so I need to this is a website <laughs> there are websites for every project and I need to remove stuff that is no longer relevant so the first thing is to just look through what is there and maybe even watch some presentations there and see if they're if they're needed so um yeah so listen to listen to watch um to the presentations there and just look through um, which is look, look through or look at or check should be its own uh, context. So I think, yeah, I'm going to put it here. Check. Um, how much stuff is there? Just like check the damage as it were uh, and also oh, that's a five minute thing to create a tab on the website for extra stuff like we need to remove some of it but some we can we might just uh, move from one tab to, like there's there are a couple of main tabs with information on this website and there's too much of it people are inundated with information so we're going to create a tab for extra stuff like if you're super duper interested in this you can go here and I think oops <laughs> What what letter is that? 
Um, I think that's a five minute thing. I can just create the tab and ch -ch -ch. be done with it. So, what else? Um, oh yeah, I really don't want to do this thing. It's about how to, I have some colleagues within this project and I need to decide what they should do and how much time they should spend doing it. And that's one of the, one uh, like a work task that I don't like. Uh, but I can start by just like looking through the documents of, there's a document with, with everything we need to do within this project. So I can look through the tasks on there and just let it simmer because my brain works like this. It needs input. And then I can go days without really thinking consciously about stuff, but something happens subconsciously. And then when I work on it again, it's like my brain has come up with solutions or just, it, it, yeah. So I need to give it input. So even though I dread this, the, the sooner I just look through the document, the better. So I'm going to put, uh, just look through this document. And this is the good thing about GTD and these next actions that you are sort of forced to do these small things that actually make a huge difference to your work and make you more efficient because you otherwise you would dread these large nebulous things that you don't know where to start but you know breaking it down like this really helps even when you don't want to <laughs> um what else right now I think nothing well I need to create a schedule so I might start doing that and that's also a five minute thing because I can like create the document and then just copy things from last year when we did a similar thing and do it in small increments like that. So, um, I will sh uh, create a schedule a document and share it with a colleague who also needs to do part of the schedule. So that's the first step. Uh, and copy from last time. So that's enough for the dark red one. Let's go to the light blue one. Um, Quick little thing, check if something is done. There's, there's this task I have to do. I have to um, book a room and it's really, I can't book it myself. I need to contact these people and it's really ridiculously um, complicated. <laughs> but I, the first thing I have to do is to check that I haven't already done it actually. So. Check to see if it's already booked. Um, and yeah, I need to check. I think I've already put that, that I need to. No, I haven't. I need to check what my tasks are within this project because it's still not very clear. So I need to check the document that lists uh, our tasks the same way I did for the dark red one but this time I'm not in charge of this project the blue one so I just need to check what others have said that I need to be doing for the red one I'm in charge so I need to tell others what to do that's really interesting for you <laughs> isn't it uh, I don't think there's anything else right now. I mean, I could have a look at the website and see. Yeah, I can do that. I can check the website to see what needs to change uh, my parts of the website for this year. So 
so does it need to be updated? This is in the way. There. So that's it, I guess. Uh, I've done this. Um, yeah. I won't prolong the torture. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Bye.